Hello, my name is Greg. Welcome to episode 5 of 3D Pokemon like game in Unity. For the last 4 episodes we were using an old input system. Today we want to migrate to a new input system. It is much more customizable, allowing easier configuration between multiple platforms later on in the development. Open Package Manager of Unity. We want to search for input system package in Unity registry. Download and install the package. By the end of installation you will have to restart Unity. Good. For input system to function we need to introduce event system object on the essential scene. Replace outdated input module by clicking this button. Good. We will be completely removing legacy input from our project. So inside project settings in player category we can find and set input to be only new one. Good. Now we want to replace our old input component with a new one. Select player character and add player input component which is provided to us by the new input system. And remove an old player input component. To set the control scheme we need to define existing actions with which we will associate certain input from the player. To do this we need to create an input action asset. An asset containing actions map and control schemes. To map out the input double click on this newly created asset. This will open a new window where we will be setting up our input actions and map out the controls for these actions. Create a map for player action. Now first action will be our movement. So movement is done by reading a direction vector. If you monitor for input a certain value, for example a direction of movement, you should set your action type to be value. And the control type in our case will be vector2, because we read the direction vector of movement. Now we need to allocate the input to the movement. So if you click right mouse button here you can see a composite option. We need to use this because we are reading from keyboard. This option will make it so the input from the keyboard like VISD will be converted into the 2D vector. So now we can map out the input. So let's associate the movement with VISD buttons. And let's add interact action. We can keep it as button because we are simply executing certain code when this button is pressed. Good. Select player and set all the fields for the player input. Reference the input action map, UI input module and camera. The last field is behavior. It set up how your input system communicate with your components. The simplest way to set up the control scheme in your game with a new input system is by using invoke unity events. Which if we open list of events it will show you a bunch of events to which we can subscribe. Just like in things like for example buttons in UI. 
Now we need to process the player input and pass it to the player character. So create a new component called process player input. The difference to our old player input script is the source of our input. Everything else will stay the same. So we can copy the start and setting reference to the character component. Then we want to create a process method for our movement input. This method will process the input from player and pass it to the related component. Callback context carries the information from our input system. The process method must be public, so we can use it in Unity event for our input system. So we can read the value from this callback context. Then in the update, send the value to the character movement to move the character based on the input. Good. So now we can use the newly created method to process the input for movement of our character by calling the method in this event field. Let's test this. Ok, the reason why our character cannot move forward is because how we calculate the direction of movement. Inside the character movement we used to use the vector as our forward momentum. But now we read vector 2 where y axis correspond to forward movement and x correspond to left right movement. Good. Now let's make it possible to interact with the object. So create method to process interact. Remember, every process method must have callback context as a parameter. And inside call interact. Good. In the player input events, use this new process method. Good. But it is hard to see anything. It is because our camera doesn't move. Yet it's an easy fix. Select camera and you will see this button. Click this button and at bottom of the inspector you will see the new component responsible for managing camera based on the new input system. Good. There is something off with how our camera and character move. This is happening because we are taking into account the up and down axis of the camera when moving the character. So inside the character move we need to nullify the y axis on the move direction vector.
we are done migrating to a new input system. And now you know how easy it is to introduce a new elements into this input system. This is it for this episode. With best regards, see you in the next episode.